on demand. After several interruptions, we'll start the meeting. So this is the regular August meeting for the Pascual de Goche School District Board of Trustees. I note that there's one member missing, Mr. Sonny Bags, unavoidably detained. And that, Mr. Superintendent, do we have anything to add to the agenda? We do not, just the election of the secretary. Okay, so we have one item to add to the agenda, will be item B, we'll move the current B to C. To name a acting secretary for tonight's meeting. Do I hear a motion to approve the agenda as modified? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Do I hear a motion to name an acting secretary? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I move that Ms. Tracy Wilson at this time be elected our acting secretary and that she would be able to exercise all authority of the office of the board secretary, including but not limited to executing all documents relating to the district shortfall note. Second. Any discussion of this item? This is, we have some important signatures that need to be applied tonight. So we need to get an acting secretary named. This, is, this will do it. All in favor say aye. 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 Do we have any visitors that we do not want to talk to us? With that, then we're ready for the consent agenda, sir. Okay. We're grouping several routine items into a single consent agenda. Any board member may request that any or all items on the consent agenda be removed and considered as a separate item. If no such request is made, all items on the consent agenda may be approved by a single action of the Board of Trustees. Consent agenda for August 13, 2018. Request for approval of consent agenda items. Request for approval of board meeting minutes, July 12, 2018, July 30, 2018. Request for approval of personnel resignations recommendations. Request for approval of docket of claims for July 2018. Request for approval of enrollment of in-district students whose parents are employees. Request for enrollment of out-of-district students whose parents are employees. Request for approval of release of students. Request for use of facilities. Request to accept donations and grants. Request for approval to declare surplus and advertise for sale. Request for approval of the instructional management system of the Pasco Lagoche School District. Request for approval of understanding MOU for RDC Mobile Clinic and Pasco Lagoche School District. Request for approval of removal of equipment from inventory and disposal. Request for approval of single source purchase, project lead the way. Request for approval of 2018-19 extra duty supplements. <coughs> Request for approval of 2018-19 athletic supplements. Recommendation to award RFP 505-18 school-based therapy services, SY 1819, SY 1920, SY 2021. Request for approval of advertised proposals to provide English language acquisition software for kindergarten through 12th grade. Request for approval of construction change, direct, uh, change order. Request for approval of construction change directive. Request for approval of substantial completions. Request for approval of application certificates of payments. Request for approval of use of facility. Request for approval of two, to purchase two school buses. Request for approval of special non-renewable license. Request for approval of summer stipends. Request for approval of overnight field trip, PHS choir. Request for approval of overnight field trip, GHS NJROTC marksmanship. Request for approval of overnight field trip, GHS NJROTC drill meet. Request for approval of overnight field trip, GHS NJROTC orientation. 
Request for approval of overnight field trip, PHS Speed Debate Club. Request for approval of overnight field trip, THS Boys Basketball. <coughs> Is recommended that items on the consent agenda for August 13, 2018, be approved. Thank you, sir. Do we have any item on this list? We'd like to vote separately. Hearing none, we'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. I move. Second. Any discussion or questions on any of the items? Would you would you believe that we have a list of 26, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 32 items? School has started, folks. <laughs> that's, that's very obvious in this list. <laughs> I didn't have a comment. Okay. <coughs> we have the presence of someone here who's not normally here, or uh, a member of our nursing staff. I, I would like to uh, welcome her and, and say uh, thank you for our, all the good work that you and your program does in our school district. Thank it, you. It, it means a lot to our students and, and to our staff and to a lot of other things that, that we, we uh, I, I'm afraid, we don't hear about very often. You, I, I, I asked Miss Cheney to come to a Rotary uh, last year one time where she made a presentation. And I see that she's here probably because of some of the uh, items that the nurses take responsibility for. And I'd like to... Uh, Ask the board to consider at some point in time having her uh, review with us the functions and, and uh, not not so much the functions but uh, the different programs that she heads up and uh, and what it means to our district because it's a wonderful story and and a lot of it was done with her energy and with her uh, her and her staff uh, uh, just their. Uh, you know, efficiency, their, their, their interest, their, their looking at what the students need in our district. They we're, we're going to approve a couple of the items. Could you kind of just quickly review how long we've had the, uh, the I think there are two items here that you're with. I, I'm sorry. I'm Mobile clinic and which one? The, the dental clinic and we've had the dental clinic for eight years. And uh, we've seen a lot of children, and they've given us a lot of free services. So um, we're very excited that they come and help our children every year. They do. What, what do they do? Essentially, while they're here, they clean their teeth, and then if they find problems, recommend them. That they refer them. Uh -huh. Yes, so they clean their teeth, and they put sealants on and fluoride treatments. So they do a lot of things that a lot of our children have never been to a dentist, so we bring the dentist to be. What grade do they serve? All of our grades. Pardon me? All of them. Oh, um, okay. Pre-K through 12. Okay. And the medical <coughs> program, there's a, is there another program that you're? It's on the agenda tonight? Not today. Not today. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any the other items that have questions or comments, discussions? Hearing none, I'll ask for a vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, nay. Mr. Rudolph, we're down to item 4A. 
On or before the 15th day of August each year, the Board of Trustees shall adopt a budget for the fiscal year commencing on July 1st of each year, as required by Section 37619 Mississippi Code 1972 annotated. It is recommended the Board of Trustees approve the attached district wide budget for FY 2018-19. All right, there's a recommendation of the superintendent. We've been involved, I'll say heavily, with getting this budget established. Had two work sessions and a budget hearing. Do we have any discussion on this budget that is, as it is presented? A motion? Yes, ready for a motion. Okay, I, I move that we approve the budget. Thank you. I hear a second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed nay? Next item, Mr. Rodolfich, is our ad valorem request. The amount being requested for district maintenance operation for the FY 2018-19 school year is $48,241,957. The Board of Trustees at the April 10, 2017 board meeting adopted a resolution which authorized the district to enter into a loan and issue a limited tax promissory note. The principal and interest of the note is to be paid through a three mil debt service tax levy. The district's request for debt service for the three mil note for FY 2018-19 is $2,689,258. The Board of Trustees at the June 26, 2018 board meeting adopted a resolution declaring a shortfall on local revenues and stated the intention to issue a promissory note. At the July 12, 2018 board meeting, the board accepted the bid from the community bank. The district's request for debt service for the shortfall note for FY 2018-19 is one million two hundred seventy nine dollars seven hundred twenty uh, twenty million two hundred seventy nine thousand seven hundred twenty one dollars and twenty five cents. It is recommended the Board of Trustees adopt the attached resolution order to the City Council of Pascagoula to enumerate the dollar amount for budget requirements at the loan levy 2018-19 school year as follows. District maintenance forty eight million two hundred forty one thousand hundred fifty seven dollars. Debt service three mil two million six hundred eighty nine thousand two hundred fifty eight dollars. Shortfall one million two hundred seventy nine thousand seven hundred twenty one dollars twenty five cents for a total of fifty two million two hundred ten thousand nine hundred thirty six dollars and twenty five cents. Heard the recommendation of the superintendent and had the opportunity to read and understand the resolution that's attached here. So your motion. Second. Any discussion of this ad valorem request to the City Council? Hearing none, I call for a vote. All in favor say aye. Uh, Any opposed? Nay. Four to zero. We've got a lot of block boxes to fill in. Get that ready to go to the city council. The, the new item on the agenda, one that you've been working on for several weeks now, is a memorandum of understanding with Ingalls. And I'd have to say that Kelly has probably worked on it more than any of us, and boy, as it relates to the amount of work that's been done, it's been like a tennis match watching it go back and forth between the attorneys. But um, we do have a resolution in hand, uh, uh, MOU in hand. Uh, I've asked Kelly prior to the meeting to explain any questions that board members may have. Um, the Pascal Goche School District and Eagle Shipbuilding have 
been in discussions to improve the College of Career Technical Institute's welding machine shop facilities. This improvement will meet the needs of industry employment opportunities. We have discussed this memorandum of understanding and we are submitting it for your approval. It's recommended the Board of Trustees approve the memorandum of understanding with English shipbuilding. Further recommendation of the superintendent. Do I hear a motion? Move. Second? Second. Wow, well, give us a little bit of a review of that if you don't mind. Mr. Wester would be to do that or something. I know all the legal jargon. Well, all I can, here's what I can tell you. Um, no, we've, met, we've met several times with Eagles and we've had them over uh, to our CCTI. Uh, they brought welders, they brought machinists, they brought all kind of personnel in. Uh, and uh, the president's been there, the vice president's been there. Uh, they really want to uh, build a, a partnership with our school district. Uh, we're one of three districts that they're really uh, doing this with. Uh, obviously, we're the closest. Uh, Moss Point's involved in uh, Alma Bryan. And, uh, over in Alabama, but uh, you know, they don't want to just come in and, and upgrade our facilities. They want to provide support through personnel. Uh, they're going to have champions for the, each of the two programs. Uh, Eagles employees that are going to come in and, and oversee what we're doing and help uh, you know, lead our students, uh, which the common goal of providing our students a, a quality education in a top-notch facility uh, to create a, a good pipeline of uh, employees into Eagle. So we feel it's our responsibility to uh, create uh, employable uh, students uh, in our community and they're going to give us the opportunity to uh, to do that and send them over there. Uh, we feel like through the work that uh, they're going to put into our building with you know, combined with what we're going to do that uh, you know, we can create opportunities for our students where uh, Eagles doesn't have to do anything but walk across the street to find some of the best employees in our facility upgrade will be uh, to their specs so our kids will have the advantage of training uh, in a facility that will lead to you know as close to immediate employment as possible uh, with one of the, the leading employers in the world they're already offering employment opportunities to our seniors um, they are we, we noticed that th at least this year was this the first year or? this is the, the second year second actually. year okay we don't want it to be two, three, four students. We want it to be 10, 20, 30 students. At least have the opportunity. How does this meld to the Hart Haley Barber building and their training plan over there? The way that works right now is anybody that completes a two-year program through the CCTI has an opportunity. Uh, if they still have a year in school, obviously if they do their sophomore and junior year with us, uh, the third year, they have an uh, opportunity to be part of the Maritime Academy and uh, you know, s study at Ingalls, which creates opportunities. But that's not uh, the requirement. Uh, if they can come out of the machine shop, welding shop, whatever program we have, um, some of them will qualify for immediate employment. Others probably need to go to the uh, community college to finish up you know, some of the higher options that we don't currently offer. Uh, we hope to offer somewhere down the line with dual credit and things like that uh, through our CCTI program, but um, it feeds right into our Career Academy concept, and so it all lines up. If I recall right, students start out just about $40,000 a year, and their tuition is paid for or reimbursed for... Full benefits, retirement, yeah. right, tuition yeah. reimbursement if they choose to go to college once they're employed. Great. Thank you, Ms. Mr. Rudolphich, for <laughs> taking the lead in doing that. But that they've been a, uh, Angels has been in our area for a long time, and uh, it's nice to get uh, to have you doing that, uh, you know, getting that involvement to uh, get them to step up and help us with the program. Well, we, we've had a total of three meetings with their vice president. Our last meeting was a tour of the facility. We actually got to go on two ships out there. Um, uh, we got a full tour of the place. They said you can ask questions and I took full advantage of asking them questions. For us as a school district, and I know there are some questions that you as board members have about the specifics of this MOU, 
but it's about the connection of students to employment and what we have to offer locally and in an economy that needs a boost we feel like we can have some uh, work ready students coming right out of school but also some apprentices and some uh, people that go to college and return for their engineering and uh, different aspects of what they learn while they're in college to come back so this is one way to try and have a grassroots effort to rebuild go and Pascagoula's uh, residential communities as well so it all works together and we just have to hammer out the details of where we are with this I know when I started, I, 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 well, I went to college, got a degree in chemistry, and went to work for a chemistry company after I got a degree, not knowing what in the world I was going to do. <coughs> after, when you have a job in the industry, you can really figure out what you really want to do the rest of your life, and, and that gives our uh, so many students who've never been in, it, in that type of environment, an opportunity to see what's going on, go to school, apply what they learn in school to what they see on the job, and I, I just think it's a great opportunity. When, when do we think we might start the uh, f physical modifications? Is not, that we, well, not until we get, we got to get past tonight first. And we have to read through the MOU if Kelly can satisfactorily explain everything to the board uh, on the board's vote, then we'll pretty pretty quickly get into this. <coughs> and we already have to some degree. Is there not um, a lease agreement already in place for how much our nominal fee is going to be for this equipment over three years? We don't have that yet, but we will. That will be a separate standalone document. Okay. That, uh, this contemplated. This is just going to get the ball rolling. Correct. <clears throat> And please help me if I'm speaking out of terms to the meeting, but physical modifications which would take place in the welding lab currently wouldn't be scheduled until 19. They're ready to pull the trigger on the machine shop equipment now, um, four to six lead, week lead time on most of that stuff, but it is it is nice spec out equipment. Um, I love the idea. I love the partnership. I think it's, it's great. Um, a little... A few questions that I have around verbiage here. That's why I'm glad, Mr. Sessoms, you can always stand between me and this jurisprudence. But I want to make sure I'm reading things correctly here. So, say item 3A, let's just start there for simplicity. If we do approve this MOU, they will purchase that equipment, correct? It, it says that pretty plain. If we go down to, say, 3C, it says that they're going to spec out what equipment we would need for the welding shop 2019 and that we will purchase in between these two amounts that we have here we're going to purchase equipment somewhere in that area right so if i look at 3b in regards to their construction efforts the physical modifications that they're talking about making um and we see anticipated costs there um but then it says that all of it is at their discretion so technically they could decide to do nothing and there's contractually nothing we can do about that am i reading that right i'm sorry i don't follow you so when, it, when we talk about the future modifications to the welding lab 2019 summer break um yeah. that ingles is going to do that says you know the selection of the contractor the amount ultimately spent and what is done is going to be at Ingalls' sole expense and discretion, right? So they could, in turn, between now and then, decide that they want to do nothing. Yeah, I mean, I, technically they could, but uh, I and, think... And I don't see, I don't think that that's their intent. Right. I don't see it going that way. I'm just wanting the clarification in my head that that, that possibility is technically out there. Um, and then the, the verbiage around the curriculum when we get down to section four was another concern of mine let me find it specifically when we say that uh, you know as long as it's within state law that we will take their recommendations on our curriculum for those two shops so we pretty much give them free reign of everything that is that's taught in there um then also when we talk about the champions, the people that they're going to have there, what they're going to be doing, 
we don't specifically speak to how often, how much, how many. And I'm I'm not trying to torpedo this thing. I want it through now too because I want our kids working on this equipment. I just feel like the specifics of this contract are heavily one-sided and and specific liabilities that we're gonna bear as a district things we will do and that there's some there's some movement in the the joints of the the expectations we have long term for the for the company it's my only concern if that's not the opinion of the administration and the rest of the board I'm not gonna sit here and stand in the way of it I just wanted those things brought to light um, just get everybody else's opinion. That's all. My thought is on the funding, a, a corporation can't just put a half million dollars out of their operating budget into something. It looks to me like what they're doing is they're seeing it, if we can reach an agreement, and then they'll put the money in their budget. This Eagles operation is not a standalone. They have, uh, you know, a management system in uh, Newport News that needs to approve their budget. So, that they can't commit. Uh, the corporation can't commit to putting money into something until their budget is approved, and they can't put it in their budget until they have some type of uh, reasonable paperwork to demonstrate to their management. Uh, what the process is going to be and that there's an agreement on it. So, yeah, this is the first step, but it's, a, you know, it just starts a, a process <coughs> that uh, the companies and, uh, and even us as a, as a big company, as a big school district, just uh, begin. Uh, it's the start of a vision, and we know there's a lot of work left in it and there's no commitments. We could have a hurricane this fall and things will fall apart. You know, th there's just a lot of issues. So I'm happy that uh, our, main, our, our administration team has made the effort and I'm, I'm positive about it because I believe that uh, they've, they've done such a good job that they've convinced a major corporation to, to do some major funding in our school district. Mm -hmm. But the details still need, you know, need, need a lot of, uh, a lot of good luck, a lot of approvals, and, uh, you know, I guess, you know, I pray that it'll happen, you know. Do you know currently, <coughs> Do we have any partnerships with other local companies around those two shops like air gas i can remember used to be pretty big with us and the welding shop people do we currently have any standing agreements with anyone <coughs> like that that we know of okay be good i'm gonna say i'm not saying that i won't vote for it if everybody's comfortable with it i'm just pointing out the possible loopholes and i understand you know to a degree they've already budgeted for the equipment i know but i understand the budget process i used to work there um i just want to make sure that that information was out there just in case any of it circles back we can say we we discussed the possibilities i don't think it's their intent i think it's going to be a great partnership um just bringing those things to light in the late hour that we got it. Is there any thought in this mentors and champions with regard to background checks for people who are going to be dealing with our students? <clears throat> we, I don't see any in that area, so I I leave that to the administration, but I, I think that would be a prudent thing to do on anyone that's going to be around our children. So, I don't think that would be a, an issue for them. Okay. Well, we have the ability now to make a recommendation with the inclusion of the requirement of any There's just so much wild weather being showing from over the weekend, but this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed your comment. Uh, well, 
Yeah. If you wanted to make an addendum to the MOU, you could specify that as a requirement of any mentor or champion that comes in contact with students, mm -hmm. that that would be a, you know, and that's the rule required anyway. Well, that, that's why. I, And let, let, can we clarify the language for Mr. Johnson, Kelly, as it relates to the curriculum? Um, that the Ingalls, while they want us to incorporate their methodology, that that would not supersede the expectation for the state's curriculum to be executed. Is that not written in that manner? Or? Yeah, so like if we look at those two bullet items, when we talk about industry standards, we say work with them to incorporate where possible industry standards in the curriculum. If you look at the next bullet down, it says work with them to incorporate any recommendations to curriculum and training where allowed under state guidelines. Right. So that tells me as long as it meets state law and they recommend it, it goes. Where, where in the previous bullet point, we left ourselves a little movement um, in the where possible in regards to the, to the standards. Um, and again, I'm not, if you guys, y'all have been in the meetings, not me. If you're saying unanimously that you're comfortable with where we're at, then, then I'm behind you. Um, just, some, just some things I wanted us to, to discuss and get out there so I could get feedback from y'all and see where we were at. You know, I think that it's going to be great. And I know personally that they're ready to pull the, the trigger on this. They're as excited about it as we are. And it's going to be a great partnership. Um, just want to make sure that, that we don't set ourselves up for anything, that's all. I don't think we have specific recommendations on the MOU. Sitting here in this forum with the short amount of time that I've had to read the MOU. So I have to vote with my confidence that the administration is, and Kelly has left enough open doors and with, enough, with more negotiation on points that will get a mutual understanding and a mutual beneficent uh, activity. If that's the, the general consensus of the board, then now that we've talked about these things and discussed it, then Hey, we'll let her, let her rip. Any other discussions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay?
classroom improvements? I believe according to the MOU, it's going to be on them to select the contractor, Mr. Chairman. Oh. It's their money, mm -hmm. their money, their contractor, their director. That's what they did in Mossmore, which is fine. I mean, we're here if you need us. So. Do they have, can they have prints of the high school so they can work the interfaces? That I'm not sure exactly how they're doing it, but you know, they're kind of doing that directly. They're trying to anyway. They are sure exactly where they are in the process. Just to give you an idea, they have their own group of engineers, yeah. contractors, architects, welding specialists. They have thoroughly reviewed the needs of those rooms based on specifications. And they're constructing all that. Uh, I mean, they basically got the tape measure out, measured all the dimensions of everything to determine what the needs were for those rooms. So it's a total Ingalls driven facility upgrade. Okay. I guess we take their money. If they can build a ship, a billion dollar ship, they can build Well, they also upgrade their buildings, too, so. Yeah. They, they, they're, they're not only shipbuilders. They do get contractors in to do the, the real work. They do the design. Uh, well, I'm a little off topic, but one of the things that we learned while on our van window tour was that the, you know, you look at those big buildings out there and you think about how wind impacts those big panels that they have. And I asked, what's the wind load on this facility? And they said 500 miles an hour. And to build something that strong, that large, that's pretty amazing. Uh, I'll, I'll wait for a 200 mile an hour storm to come by and see how much it is. If that's correct. Yes. I went to a, a church. Yes. <laughs> I went to a church in northern France where the, they were used to building ships and they made their church look like two ships. <laughs> Where the, the roof was were ships, you know, so maybe maybe they'll. I lived there during Hurricane Katrina, literally, before, during, and for several days after. And the, a few sections of a few buildings miscode. I just I say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that was the case everywhere. Today. That was the case everywhere. <laughs> You're right. So I'm I'm sure they're going to do a great job for us. Maybe a welding shop looked like a ship was the way I'm <laughs> The hull of the ship. We're through with Central and East Lawn. What other good news do you have for us? Performing arts is coming out of the ground pretty well. There's some block work going on. There's actually some steel has been erected out there, so it's, it's proceeding really well. They've got the tops poured for the piers. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, they've got a slab in the main lobby, has a slab, the side classroom slab is there, so they're half a block up in those areas, about four feet tall. A little bit of steel going up in the lobby. Uh, and the slab on the east end. We've and actually got dirt back to fill for where the initial seating tiers start, so they just kind of roughly have some dirt filled in that area, and they'll start working in that area soon. And the trip line's going well as well. I mean, it's pretty I tall. See, yeah, it's yeah, you can't miss it. So Can't mix it now. <laughs> right. So things are going well. Tell me about the other projects you finished. Is our, uh, Central and East Long, they're completed? No. Thank you so much for that, keeping them on that and getting that done. A lot of work was done. And we're still on schedule um, about the auditorium and the gym. The, the project is actually nine days behind, but they're going to start working Saturdays with the block crew to try to catch it up. This two to five o'clock every afternoon rain is not helping. It was just a sprinkle, that's one thing. I mean, it, it's just flash flooding sometimes. I mean, it's raining an inch and a half or two inches. But the brick mason is not leaving with sprinkles. It rains a little bit. He's got a crew that's keeping on site. So that's part of the new agreement that we went through today with them. And they're hiring, I think it's five more brick mason on the side. So they're trying to catch up and know that whenever it's not raining. Good. Thank you for that. Is that that 
I, I read something about a meeting that y'all have, a, a, a three month or a... So every, every month we meet. Every month, okay. So performing arts, we meet the afternoon of the board meeting and then trend lot will meet tomorrow okay. morning. So we call those the OAC, owner architect contractor. Oh, okay. represented there. I saw the initials and it wasn't Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what that means. And you're satisfied with their work? Are the, uh, I mean, they can't do anything about the rain, but... Uh, and but they have to catch up and they're, they're willing to catch up. Good. Sure is pleasing to me to see those projects going up. Yeah. And they're going to be major improvements for, for our schools. Sorry. Let me throw the Jackson. Yes, sir. <laughs> I walked it to Monday before school starting on Wednesday, so. <laughs> and we've had a couple of good rains, and uh, the only thing that surprises us a little bit is the, the kitchen pond's getting a little deeper than we thought it would. I mean, there's a lot of water coming to that kitchen pond, so it's, it is holding water for about four to six hours, and it's getting probably three and a half foot deep. I didn't think, it, I didn't think that much water would get to it, but it did. So there's a lot of water coming off that campus. Are you concerned? How about it going back into the ditch? Is, is that? That's, is, that's all. After we redefined it, widened it, made it deeper, and carried it all the way up to the kitchen, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. Now, I'm not concerned. I'm just surprised there's that much runoff going into that kitchen pond. I mean, now we've got a lot of catch basins bringing the water to it. That's just a lot of area that's coming to it. Does it need to be enlarged? Are you right. worried about right. the depth or anything? I no. No, I mean, I'm just surprised okay. there's that much water coming to okay. it. Not just, not, yeah. just want to make sure. We've had a couple of times where we didn't get much overall, but it came in tens. If it had lasted any time, it would have been one of those 10 inch rains. I know speaking to the staff there, especially the principal now there, <clears throat> they seem to be very happy with the way things are going so far and the overall look and feel of the campus. Kids are smiling and feet are dry. <laughs> so I think it's a win win right now. Okay, any other questions on construction status? Whoops. Now we'll go to the financial reports. Got a reconciled bank account, a cash flow account, fund balance, and you're saying when we now that we were, no, that was just to sign that set of papers so you can carry it down to the bank. Is that what you gave me tonight? Closing documents for the shortfall note. Closing documents for the shortfall note. Yes. Correct terminology. Okay. Sign those. We can go get, turn those in. And I will hand deliver them to Community Bank tomorrow. And get a... Get a check from them in a couple of days. Uh, we've already sent our banking information, and they're going to do an electronic transfer of funds. Okay. That'll cover our taxes that we didn't didn't get January, February, March. <coughs> Any other questions on comments on financial reports? Next item is. 6A, our review of Section C. Do we have any <coughs> changes, comments that we need to make again to <coughs> Mr. Rudolphich so we can get some of our Section C <coughs> policies updated to our satisfaction? No? Okay. It's a very largely constitution-driven section of our policy. Um, 
I not have any issue with it anyway. Just to say, I don't, I don't know if we did that. There's much of an option with a lot of it. <laughs> there, there is. <laughs> just, just, yep. So kind of the way it is. That's right. Kind of the way it is. Thank you for including that, though, in the in our agenda. Our, yeah, our, that helps keep me on track. Gives you something to do when you see it. If you have, if you've forgotten it, then. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, with that then we're down to we need to close the meeting to determine executive session. At this point we would, we would members would remove themselves and consider these items for executive session. Um, we have a student matter and several requests for student reassignment assignments and three legal matters that we need to discuss in executive session because they all impact our ability to protect our public from <coughs> legal causes. So I hear a motion to close the meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed nay? Four to zero on this. Uh, 